Hi, I'm Neil Armstrong. Join me for an adventure through time. The B-17 was a new concept, a self-sufficient fighting flying machine that bristled with weaponry and destroyed more enemy fighters than any other airplane. It lived up to its name, a flying fortress. The heavily armed B-17 was not impregnable, but the men of the 8th Air Force continued their missions. Germany began to weaken from the round-the-clock attacks, but at great cost. During the worst of the campaign, as many as 200 planes a week were destroyed, representing the loss of 2,000 men. But if there was the slightest chance of survival, the B-17 could make it home. This B-17 is owned by World War II B-17 pilot David Talashay. The X-15 was designed for hypersonic flight, five times the speed of sound and beyond, higher and faster than any other winged aircraft. And its flight tests would demonstrate that it was possible for a pilot to function in a weightless environment and fly a winged re-entry from space. Well, we're here at the NASA installation at Edwards in the pilot's locker room with Bill Dana. Bill's a legendary test pilot. Bill, you flew the X-15 a lot of times. What were the sensations of getting dropped off that B-52 wing and lighting up the engine? The Boeing B-52 still flies today. Neil Armstrong suited up and went along on a routine seven-hour mission. aircraft are certainly a fascinating part of aviation. Join me again next time for First Flights.